FR Media presents this Bayhawks basketball special. It's the 2019 NJCAA New England Region 21 semifinal matchup between the Bunker Hill Community College Bulldogs and the Bristol Community College Bayhawks live from the Bunker Hill Community College Gymnasium in Boston, Massachusetts. Welcome in, everybody. It's a pleasure to, to have you join us on this lovely Saturday evening here in Boston. I'm David Cardoza. And you know, there's an old saying that says, I have not come this far just to come this far. Well, for Coach Robert Del Lou in his 10th season as the Bristol Community College Bayhawks head coach, he's been in this exact same position. For the last six seasons, he's been in this position. And um, he has not yet become, have come over the hump. And if he's going to do so today, he's going to have to do it without his superstar, All-American center, Josh Winbush, who was suspended for two games um, due to a technical foul um, this past Saturday at Quinn Sigelman Community College and at Bristol Community College in their last game of the season. So Josh Winbush will not be playing in tonight's game. So it's going to be a tough road as Bunker Hill and Bristol get ready to set off here in what, what's going to be a rubber, a rubber game, the rubber match of this season. I want to bring in our guest, our guest announcer, yes, Mr. Keith Tebow, <laughs> going to join me in the booth today. Keith, these two teams faced off each other, faced off with each other just a couple, just a couple weeks ago yeah. in a game that meant a lot for this, for this weekend right here. Bristol got the upper hand, and now they face off each other against each other in this rubber match. Well, it's sort of a good thing, bad thing. Bristol won the game; they're the number two seed in this tournament, but unfortunately, Bunker Hill is on their home court. So we'll see if that uh, makes a difference at all. When Bunker Hill played uh, Bristol here, it was the Bulldogs that won. And again, the Bayhawks won, as you said, two weeks ago back at home at Bishop Connolly. So this is the rubber match, as you said, and should be a good one. It should be a fantastic one. We're going to get ready to send this down to courtside for tonight's starting lineups. As we join you here from Boston for the semifinal matchup with the Bulldogs and the Bayhawks. The scene is set, everybody. The stage is set. CCRI has already punched their ticket. Community College of Rhode Island punched their ticket against Gateway Community College in the earlier semifinal matchup, so they will be in the tomorrow night's championship game. Yeah, they uh, they defeated uh, Gateway, CCRI did, by a score of 74 to 71. Uh, really a tight game, Dave, in terms of uh, you would think the number one seed would have a big advantage against the number four seed, but it was actually a real tight game and went down to the end. That's for sure, Keith, and we're going to get ready for tonight's start and lineups as we'll send it down as these two top ten teams get ready for their collision course toward, towards tomorrow's championship. Let's meet the participants in this ball game. The visitors on the scoreboard today are the Booker Hill Community College and Bulldogs, wearing number one, Jalen George Colletti.
All right, we're ready to get underway here from Boston here at Bunker Hill Community College Gymnasium. Should be a good game, Dave. You know, uh, the, the crowd is a little sparse. I mean, there was snow earlier in the day, but uh, fortunately not a bad travel uh, day for anyone coming to the game. We actually made it right up without any traffic right through Boston, right through downtown, and here to Bunker Hill. So uh, definitely a home court advantage for the Bulldogs. We'll see how the Bayhawks respond. And here are Cardoza's keys to the game, Keith. Without, without their star center, Josh Winbush, perimeter shooting definitely going to be a factor. And Josh Winbush actually helps out in the perimeter game because he just he just gives this Bayhawks team such great spacing. And right off the bat, going to the hole, to the rack, number 25, right off the tip. Yeah, he just took it right away. He didn't waste any time and right to the bucket for the first two points of the game. And that gets to my other key, Keith. Getting up early, taking this crowd out of it. The three-pointer by Jontel Rodriguez, no good. Rebounded by Freeman, the freshman, gets it stripped away from him. Well, that was a good play there by uh, Sensikar for Bunker Hill. Coakley on the drive, throws it out of bounds. It'll be Bunker Hill basketball. Coakley, one of the top scorers in Region 21. Talking about number four. The first two points were scored by Jonathan Senesikar, six foot four forward. And it's actually going to be Bunker Hill basketball here. Yeah, Bayhawks man to man to start. And land it up and in. And there's Jamari Coakley. That's the, that's the top man on Bunker Hill squad. Bristol up four nothing. Bunker Hill now playing a zone. McCarthy to the hole, gets it knocked away. It's going to stay Bayhawks basketball. Now, Bristol Keith, in the last encounter, they got destroyed on the boards in the first half. Dane, yeah. Dane Allen was a huge factor for them on the boards. Yeah, Bunker Hill took a big lead there in that first half, but the Bayhawks turned it around in the second. They settled down. McCarthy to the rack, puts it about the glass and in. They are going to need him today if they're going to pull out this upset. Bristol in man-to-man. -man. There's the big man, Allen, at the top of the key. Hands off to the basket. No, oh, nice little block there by Charles. McCarthy pushes it up court. Goes all the way to the rack, and he gets it no knocked out of bounds. What a block by Sineskar. Yeah, great play by Sineskar. Trailed the, uh, the Bayhawk McCarthy all the way through. Was able to get back in time. McCarthy to inbound. Bristol gets it to the half-court offense. We're just getting underway here from Boston. Freeman swings it. Rodriguez, a three-pointer. It's no good. They're going to need him to hit those shots today. Bringing it up is Coakley. Coakley dribbles and bibbles, puts it up. Nice defensive play there by Freeman. Yep, nice defense. Held his ground, was able to get the ball away. Bristol playing with only seven players here today. Zach Vega for three. It's Vega time. They are going to need him today as well. It's going to be the Vega McCarthy show. Three pointer by Vega puts Bristol up by one. Very patient there for the Bayhawks. And again, they're still in man to man defense. Allen to the rack. Ooh, I thought it was going to be an offensive foul. Charles didn't set his feet in time, but get to appreciate the hustle. Yeah, definitely the case there. Charles tried to set his feet. Just moved a little bit and was called for the foul. Going all the way to the rack. Coakley puts it about the glass and in. And Bunker with a 6-5 advantage. Four early points for Coakley to lead the Bulldogs. Bunker appears to be in zone. Rodriguez. Gets it knocked away, regains it, loses out of bounds, and they're going to say it's off Telly. Yeah, he lost it off his own knee. He tried to bounce pass down low and hit his leg on the way down to the floor. Again, if you're just joining us, we are at Bunker Hill Community College for this NJCAA regional semifinal. David Cardoza and Keith Thibault on the call. They'll dump it into Allen. Vega covering Allen. Allen twists, and nice post move there by Allen. Off the glass and in. 8-5 Bunker.
Bunker Hill in the 2 3 zone. Freeman to a cutting Vega. Oh, try to get it to Charles, but it's stolen by Coakley. Coakley going the other way. Kicking it back out for three, and it's good. Yeah, yeah big shot there by Belidi. And now Bunker Hill is on a 7 0 run to take an 11 5 lead. Yeah, Belidi with the three. The six foot two sophomore. Bunker Hill has a lot of height. Double team. Vega corner three. Can't get it to go. Oh, no foul. I thought that would have been over the back. Got to put a bit. Got to get back on defense. Allen. Posting up on Vega. Nice little fake there. Puts it up with the left hand. And they like, Bunker Hill likes that matchup, Keith. Yeah, Rob Delalu is going to call a timeout. A 9-0 run for the Bulldogs makes it 13-5. And so far, David, it looks like, without a doubt, that the Bayhawks are missing uh, Winbush, the big man down, down low. He's able to get a lot of rebounds, and they just look like they are physically, right now, the smaller team, and it's playing out that way thus far. Well, Winbush is such a difference maker. He's got, he's got amazing length. He's, a, he's an intimidator on defense. He's a shot blocker, and he attracts so much attention on the offensive end. You know, he draws double teams and allows allows Bristol to get their perimeter game going. Well, and it, and it looks like you know Bunker Hill is going to probably pay, play out a little further to force the Bayhawks to go inside because they know they don't have the big man inside. So that someone else is going to have to pick up the slack inside to uh, make up for the loss of Winbush today. And if I'm Bristol, I want to go. I want to go to that press because Bristol Bristol does such a much better job when they're in transition when they're when their offense is in motion. They're kind of, they're, sometimes they get stagnant on the on the offensive end in their half court. I'd like to see them start running and gunning a little bit. Yeah, they've been playing man-to-man -man on defense thus far, and it has worked in spurts, but over the first you know four minutes or so of the game, particularly in the last minute or so, it has definitely been uh, Bunker Hill that has taken advantage of that man-to-man uh, -man defense and exploiting some of the uh, seams in that defense. And uh, I'm sure Coach Delu is going to try to tighten that up a little bit. We'll see if they switch over to a, uh, a zone at all as we uh, continue in this game. Well, Coach Rob Delu likes to go man-to-man, -man, but he's also been mixing it up with the zone as of late. So th throwing different looks. Bristol to inbound. And also in the, la in the last contest, contest, Keith, Bristol came out kind of slow at home in a, in a similar situation where they trail by as much as 13 at home in their, in their last contest against Bunker. Yeah, that foul is going to be on Coakley as he reached in as, I believe, McCarthy was trying to dribble through the lane. Okay, McCarthy will inbound. Back out to Vega. Vega floats it up there. Can't get it to go. Freeman. Freeman with the rebound and a new shot clock. Going to the rack, it's Freeman, strong to the hole, count it. And he'll go to the line, and Bristol needed that to stop the bleeding. Absolutely, and Freeman, not afraid to go to the hoop. Drove right through the lane, got hit, put it in the basket, and a chance for a three-point play. And you're right, Dave, good way to stop the bleeding here with a three-point play. Yeah, for Bristol, just keep it close. Keep it close here in the first half. Second free throw is good. Keep it close, build that confidence. 13 to 8, Bristol trails. We're not, we're not even five minutes in in the semifinal contest. Jannard Jones getting double teamed over there. Three pointer from deep coming off. And nice rebound there by Telly going to get it. McCarthy, the, the elite and assist leader, gets it to Vega in the corner. Can't get it. Yeah, Bristol's definitely going to need to uh, hit some of those threes because they're going to have a tough time on the boards. Nice defensive play. Nice nice play there by Vega. 17 on the shot clock. Again, Allen. Allen on Vega. Turnaround jumper. Can't get it to fall. Nice rebound there by Vega. Vega trying to go the distance. Going to the rack. And he's going to draw the foul. Good job that by Vega going strong to the hole. And they're going to need Vega 
Yeah, Dane Allen with that foul. Already three team fouls now for the Bulldogs. And Bristol, despite not having Josh Winbush in their lineup today, he's actually not the leading scorer. The leading scorer for this team is Marcus McCarthy, who's right. also he's the leading scorer for this team, is also the um, the leading assist leader in in the Region 21, actually. So, and Zach Vega is right behind him. Two free throws made by Vega. Thirteen to ten. Oh, nice pass in there inside, and the and the put in there by Marvin Erdaneta, six foot six sophomore from Revere. What a pass there by Deshaun McLaughlin, Keith. Yeah, using his size inside to push the Bristol defender aside. And now Erdinetta makes the three points. And Keith, looking at the Bunker Hill, looking at the Bunker Hill uh, team here, their roster, there is a one player under six feet. Yeah, definitely have a lot of height. That's going to be their advantage. Vega going baseline. Has Malik Morris in the corner. Can't connect. Oh, nice tip by, by Vega to Freeman. Good heads up play there by Vega. And Freeman puts it up and in. Drive it to the hole. Nice dish there. Nice drive and dish. And now they'll call steps. Yeah, just a little uh, unfocused there of the Bayhawks in that transition. Well, Bunker Hill's doing a good job of driving and dishing. They're doing a good job of penetrating, penetrating to the hole, drawing attention, and finding the open man. Bunker Hill to inbound. Erdinetta, the jumper from the free throw line. Offensive foul on the Bayhawks. That was called on McCarthy. And they can't afford, they can, the Bayhawks cannot afford to get into foul trouble with only seven players suited up today. Here's Coakley. Coakley kicks it to the corner. Three-point shot. It's good. Shenard Jones for three. Nice, nice penetration and a kick to the corner. Yeah, just like that, the Bulldogs are back up by nine. Short jumper by Rodriguez. No good. Coakley, all the way to the basket. No, nope. Just, just too easy, Coach Rob Lou. Yeah, nobody there on defense for the Bayhawks. Whoever, whoever had uh, Coakley totally missed the assignment. And uh, it is now a 13-point lead. All and, right. And we'll be back. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college. But with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt. And I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Honor. All right, welcome back everybody here to Bunker Hill Gymnasium here in Boston, Massachusetts. Bristol down, Bristol Community College down 13. And if you're Bristol, you're just gonna chip, there's a lot of time left in this game, it's gonna chip away at this thing. Freeman on the drive, nice dish there to Morris. There you go, that's how you get started. Morris for two from the pass from Freeman. Yeah, that's what they gotta do, they gotta drive. Hopefully the defense at Bunker Hill will collapse and then find the open man. They'll dump it in. Nice little lob pass from number 15 inside to number 23, Erdinetta. Bristol just giving up a lot of size. Going to the basket. Vega in the air. And he's going to get fouled. Thompson 
That's uh, Craig Thompson, number 15 for Bunker Hill. And that's his uh, first foul. Okay, I was wondering who number 15 was. I'm not, not on our roster. Craig hey, Thompson, number yeah. 15. Okay, yeah. there's, always one, there's always one of those every game. <laughs> the, we call it the mystery player. Right. Okay, Vega hits the second free throw. Back to 11, 27 to 16. Seven points for Vega as the Bull, uh, the uh, Bayhawks rather press. Nope. Bayhawks gonna get back on defense, playing man to man. They're liking this matchup right here on, Ve on Vega. And there it is again, Craig Thompson. Craig Thompson, six foot seven. He's a monster. Bayhawks just seem all kinds of sort off sorts on offense. Rodriguez for three, can't connect. That's the guy they need right there is Telly Rodriguez to start stepping up. Quincy Taylor in the game now for the Bulldogs as they have a 13 point lead, just under 12 minutes left to go here in the first half. And I just feel like Keith, like Coach, uh, Coach Jones for Bunker Hill, he does a great job of rotating these players. Well, he does have a deeper bench, mm -hmm. and that helps in terms of giving players the appropriate amount of rest. Right, he's not afraid. He's going to his bench early and often. Driving and penetrating, a nice dish. Blocked by Freeman. Nice defensive play there. And they're, they're going to say it's Bristol ball. Don't know if there was a foul. The ball went out of bounds. I think the ball went out of bounds off a Bulldog. I don't know, but the possession now is going to be in favor of Bristol. 29 to 16. 11 minutes and 33 seconds to go here in the first half. Freeman thought about it. A lot of hesitation on the, on the offensive end for Bristol. Rodriguez puts another three up, and he is just cold. He's cold, man, right now. Coakley. Coakley kicks it back out. The three-pointer coming off. McCarthy with the rebound. McCarthy darting all the way, feels the contact. And I think it's going to be before the shot they're going to call it. Yeah, that was on uh, Belitti. And that's a 15 foul on Bunker Hill. Five on Bunker Hill, three for Bristol. McCarthy inbounds. Vega gets it knocked away by Coakley. Oh, nice play there by Coakley to strip it away. And I think they're going to call a reach in. I think they're going to call a reach in on Stanley Freeman there, number 14 of Bristol. Actually, it's on Malik Charles. That's yeah. his second personal and the fourth on the team. Yep, they call it on Charles. They get it in. Double team in the corner. Here it is. They, they're liking this matchup. 18 on the shot clock. They kick it to the corner. Good defense by the, by the Bayhawks. Cross-court pass. And Coakley gets tripped up there. I think it's going to be on McCarthy. That's the second on McCarthy. Both teams now have five fouls in the first half. 20 on the shot clock. Free throw jumper, no good. Rebounded by Freeman. Up ahead to Rodriguez. Vega going baseline. They don't call a foul. That uh, was actually a pretty clean block there. Yeah, Bunker, Bunker getting after it defensively. Elbow jumper is, is sunk by Bolitti. Biggest lead of the ball game now for the Bulldogs. They're up by 15. 31 to 16. Under 10 minutes to play. McCarthy for three. And we talked about perimeter shooting and Bristol just not getting it done. 
Now that was probably not a very smart shot there. Even though he was open, he was a little further behind the three-point line that he probably wanted to be. And with the height yeah. disadvantage for the Bayhawks, you doesn't still, help. You still get a penetrate. Coakley. Coakley somehow finds it back in his hands and lays it in. Jamar Coakley. Jamari Coakley. Going back the other way is Vega. Too strong. And they're going to call a late foul there. Yeah, that, yeah that, was, that was a foul on the shot there. That is Quincy Taylor with the foul for Bunker Hill. Again, Quincy Taylor, 6'5", Dane Allen, 6'7", Mass Juice, 6'7", Craig Thompson, 6'7", Marvin Urdaneta, 6'6". All these guys are 6'5", 6'6", 6'7". Big team. That's the fifth free throw already for Vega. He is leading the uh, Bayhawks with eight points. It's perfect five for five from the line. Well, he's one of the leading scorers in Region 21. And Zach Vega, he's a second half player. He'll, he'll get it going in the second half. Second free throw is no good. Bunker Hill just playing fast and loose. Shot coming off. McCarthy with the ball in his hands. Going all the way. Comes up short. Bolitti pushes it up court. Jumper from the free throw line is no good. Bayhawks need to settle down a bit. There it is, Vega. Man, they can now buy a bucket from the outside. McCarthy with the rebound. Take it to the basket. Freeman for three. Can't get it to fall. Wow. And Coach Del Lou, you can see him over there seething. Bristol not. Bristol just not hitting from the perimeter. Bunker Hill's going to call a timeout. We're going to call a timeout here. The score, 33 to 17 here from Boston. We'll be right back here on FR Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. Honor, courage, sacrifice, pride, our city. Fall River has traditionally been in the forefront of honoring our nation's soldiers, sailors, Marines, and airmen. Vietnam veterans took the initiative to secure rights to an 80% size replica of the Healing Wall for Veterans Bicentennial Park. The names of over 58,000 fallen heroes will be engraved on the 360 foot long replica wall. 100% of the money raised benefits the building of our Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall in Fall River. Help build our wall, which is scheduled to open in 2020. The meaning, the spirit, and the value of the wall is everyone's. Be part of this exceptional once in a lifetime project. All right, welcome back here to Bunker Hill Gymnasium. Bunker Hill with a 33-17 lead over Bristol Community College. If you're just joining us, obviously it's been all Bulldogs. The Bulldogs have dominated. Going to the rack, laying it in. That's just too easy. Like Hugh Howard with the lay-in, 35-17. And the steal there by Bolitti. Three-point shot. No good, oh my goodness! Craig Thompson with the thunder slam off the rebound. Wow, and he's got this Bunker Hill house in a frenzy. And, and Morris temporarily silences the crowd, but it, it's not silent because people are still going, still going nuts after that dunk, wow. Talk about bringing the house down. 37 to 19. Three point shot there by Valetti, no good. And they're gonna call a foul there, I believe, on, on Mass Juve. What a. 37 to 19. So Bristol in the bonus. Zach Vega. We'll step up to the free throw line. 
And Bristol finds themselves in a major, major hole here. Well, 18 points. And one of the things you, you just got to do when you're behind. You just got to chip away? You got to chip away at it. Yeah, I mean, the goal, I mean, 7.15 left. That's a lot of time in the half. But, you, you know, you got to look at it at taking it small chunks. And, you know, if you're Bristol, you think of, of saying, okay, let's get it, you know, let's get it down to maybe 10 at halftime, maybe below 10. Yeah, 10 Don't 10 try to get to it all back right now. That's you for can't sure. get, yep, you're right. You can't get it all back at once. We're coming up on seven minutes of play here in the first half. The three pointer, it's good. Like Hugh Howard, the smallest guy on the team. Three pointer, Malik Morris, that's an air ball. You talk about one team hitting perimeter shots and the other team. Just doing the opposite. Howard, oh, I thought he should have called him for steps. Morris, Morris going to the rack, puts it up, off the glass and in. Bristol on the verge of getting blown out of this gym. I don't see the defense. Bristol and man is a three pointer. No good. Bristol got to start maximizing these possessions. Freeman loses it. Finds Pierre. There's Vega. Jumper is good. That's good. That's, that's big. Vega with the corner jumper. Now Bristol in a zone. Yeah, Bristol and Bristol in 2-3 zone. They just can't match up man to man with this team. Going to the rack. Going strong is Thompson. And he's going to go to the line. We got a capacity crowd now. Saturday night. And yeah, I talked about earlier how there weren't a lot of people and they're starting, they're, they're filling in. They are filling in. They are filled in, Keith. 40 to 25. And we talk about how many times Coach Rob Del Lu and this, this college has been in this position. Great teams over the years, top one or two or three seed every year, and they keep getting back to this position. You know, you know, Dave, I haven't, uh, as you know, I haven't been with the team all year. You have covered all the games we've done at home. There's Vega for three, and he trains it. I'm wondering if they've been down by this much any time this year. I mean, being 26 no. and three, you would think it probably didn't happen that often. For this year, it's been unprecedented for sure. 42 to 28. Coakley kicks it to the corner, three pointer. No good. That's gonna. Oh, I thought they would have called it out of bounds. Either way, Freeman comes up with it. Freeman darting to the basket, and they'll call a foul. And we're approaching that magic mark, Keith. We got. Almost five minutes to play here in the in the first half. 42 to 28. Freeman goes to the line to, for for two free throws. He makes these two, cuts it to within 12. Yep. Start approaching that 10 point mark that Abs we talked about. Absolutely, but they've got to you know continue to play better on the defensive side of the floor. Urdaneta back in, as well as Thompson for the Bulldogs. Freeman second free throw, nails it. 42 to 29. So good job by Bristol to hang in there. They were down as many as 17. Under five minutes to play here in the first half. Bayhawks now back to man to man. Coakley on the drive. No good, loose ball. Ooh, falling and slipping. And they're going to call a travel, unfortunately. That's too bad. Yeah, that's just unfortunate there by Santos as he tried to plant. He was looking for a cutter coming down the lane. And when he stopped, hit a wet spot on the floor and called for traveling. Yeah, unfortunate for them. Santos, who hasn't played that much all season, shows you how sparse the bench is. Oh, nice bounce pass by Coakley. Nice interior passing. 
Marvin or Donetta for two. McCarthy at the point, the floor general. Gets it to Vega for three. Nails it. Zach Vega has single-handedly kept Bristol in this thing. That's Cuts his, it to 12. That's his third three-pointer of the game. We talked about perimeter shooting. If he can just keep hitting those shots. Get to put it, get to get in front of him. Oh, oh man. Got to keep the big man off there. Craig Thompson. Yeah, Thompson, good uh, concentration there with the tip in. You talked about Vega taking control here for the Bayhawks. He has 18 of the 32 points for Bristol. We talked about Zach Vega. He's got size. He's a, I mean, he's the, he's perfect for what they need right now. Size, size, speed. He can hit the three. He can slash. He can slash to the basket. He's athletic. Looks like Vega took a, uh, eye, a, a finger to the eye as he is uh, sitting out. He's got a gauze to his right eye. It's going to be looked at. And so, that's all. That's all they need. They need to sew that up right now and get him back out here. 3.49 to play in the first half. Forty-six to thirty-two. Morris thought about it, goes to the rack, and it gets it stolen from Coakley. Bad pass there by, by Morris. Bad decision. Yeah, I was looking to get it to Santos, but Coakley got in the way. Coakley spins in the lane, and they're going to call up and down. They're going to call a travel. Turnover by Bunker Hill. Yeah, Rodriguez back in the game now for the Bayhawks. Vega still on the uh, on the bench. I don't know if he's bleeding from under that right eye or not. He's holding a, a gauze as if he's putting pressure on it, so he may have a little cut there. And Freeman, the floater in the lane, scored for him. Bristol keeping it respectable, 46 to 34. And if Vega does have a cut, of course, he cannot enter the game if he is still bleeding. So that's something they need to take care of before he can get back in. Yeah, you can see him putting pressure on the eye over there. From the elbow. That's a bad shot. Rodriguez in the open court to Freeman. Freeman going to get fouled. And uh -huh. he'll go to the line. Bristol right now, a little bit of the momentum. Freeman can make the two shots here. We'll have a 10-point game. Two fifty-five to play in this first half of this NJCAA New England Regional Semifinal between two of the top teams in the country. And Freeman. Bristol getting to the line, Keith, but doing a so-so job of hitting free throws. Yeah, they are adapting a little to the defense of the Bulldogs. There are, they are, as you say, they need to penetrate. They've been doing that. They're not, unfortunately, again, they're not hitting their outside shots. So they're able to penetrate and at least drawing fouls. Freeman knocks down the second free throw. We're under three minutes to play in the first half. Nine team fouls for the Bulldogs. So the next foul, the Bayhawks will be in the double bonus. Bristol looking to cut this lead to under 10. They can get a stop here. Fall away jumper coming off. Rebounded by McCarthy. McCarthy darting to the basket all the way. Can't get it to fall. Oh. Oh. Freeman was there, too, for the rebound. Just couldn't corral it. Went off his leg out of bounds. Oh, but McCarthy had a shot at it there, Keith. He had a shot to cut this lead to within nine. Had an easy pass to the basket, easy bunny, and he blew it. Bristol doing a lot better job of defense. Going strong to the hole. Thompson gets it knocked away by Charles. Loose ball coming up away with his Bristol. Nice save there by Morris. Yeah, beautiful play there by Morris, stealing it, having the presence of mind to stay in bounds as well. Yeah, great wherewithal there by, by Morris. Get it going to the rack. Charles, nice fake there. Goes up. And he looked like he was trying to dish it to Telly Rodriguez. I don't think Rodriguez was ready for it I don't think for it was whatever reason. Yeah, I don't or, think or he thought a Bunker Hill player touched it before it went out of bounds, but that was not the case. And that's unfortunate. As bad as Bristol has played, 
especially offensively. They find themselves down only 11. And Vega's ready to come back in the game. What Bristol needs to do is what they did right there when the big man catches it there on the block. You gotta get a couple guys collapsing on him. I, Vega is coming back in. And he's gonna replace Malik Charles in the lineup. Thompson at the line, it's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one situation. And he hits the first one, 47 to 35. I want to thank everyone. I want to thank our Facebook audience. Yeah. Um, and they're going to cut a lane violation. Yeah, there was a lane violation actually by the Bulldogs. It was Deshaun McLaughlin who was in the lane as a rebounder. And after the ball was given to the shooter, he dropped out. And that's a violation. And the Bayhawks will get the basketball because of it. Can cut it to, to 10. And here's McCarthy. Against the zone. Bristol has struggled against the zone, and there's another turnover there. McCarthy couldn't handle the pass from Rodriguez. And another Bristol turnover. There's a three-pointer by Bellitti coming off. Rebounded by Quincy Taylor, and he gets fouled. That's Rodriguez uh, on the foul for the Bayhawks. That's his first. Now the Bayhawks have eight. So uh, one and one coming up here for Quincy Taylor. You get to think what's, what's going through Coach Rob Delu's head. He's uh, without his star center. All-American Josh Winbush is suspended due to a technicality, due to an NJCAA violation that says a, a player who gets four or more technical fouls during the season, automatically has to serve two game suspension. So if the Bayhawks were to win today, he also wouldn't be able to play in tomorrow's championship game. And that's that's some, something that's definitely controversial. Josh Wynn was such a difference maker. As we know, McCarthy drops it to the defense. And they're going to call a foul on Jarnar Jones. Bayhawks are now in the double bonus, so they'll be shooting two free throws for the remaining one minute and ten seconds of this first half. And you got to think if they could just hit their free throws, this game would be a little bit closer. Yeah, they've missed quite a few. Yeah, this game would be this game would be a single-digit lead right now, Keith, if they could make their free throws. And McCarthy, usually a top-notch free throw shooter, misses both. And that's uncharacteristic of him. Bayhawks again now back to man-to-man. -man. Oh, they're going to call a travel. Bristol doing a lot better job on the defensive end. Yeah, good job there by Rodriguez as he had Validi all tied up and Belitti looked to uh, make the pass backed up and actually dragged his uh, his pivot leg so that's a that's a turnover well that's what Bristol can make you do they can make you they can force you to make uncharacteristic or silly mistakes Bucker with that zone Rodriguez for three. Oh, he can't make it and D-Rod has not made a three going back the other way Thompson no good and that's going to be sorry. over the back. I'm sorry, Sineskar. Yeah, that's going to be over the back on Quincy Taylor. So that's another foul for the Bulldogs. And, Brist and Bristol has had so many opportunities to cut into this lead more at the free throw line. They've missed some, they've missed some easy shots. They've thrown the ball out of bounds. They've turned the ball over. This, this game could be a little bit closer. Morris for... And another missed free throw by Bristol. Another missed free throw by Bristol. Morris missed both free throws. And here we go. Steal by, by McCarthy. 
careless play there by Bunker Hill. Well, that makes the lack of free throw shooting a little oh, easier. Oh, yes. There's a double at half court. There oh, stolen! Oh, man. Morris, good job of Morris getting in the passing lane there. Yeah, nice, nice huckle, hustle there by Morris. Got his fingertips on it, but just couldn't get it before it went over to the scorer's table. 17.8 seconds left. And Bunker will most likely hold for the final shot of the first half. 48 to 37. Going all the way to the lane. And they're going to call a foul. That's on uh, Malik Morris. Yeah, they're going to call a foul on Morris. And Deshaun McLaughlin will step up to the line for two. And we'll see if Bunker Hill can hit their free throws. First point for Deshaun McLaughlin tonight. Second free throw. Both free throws made by McLaughlin. Rodriguez for three. At the buzzer, it would have counted if it went. And it's just short, and that's just, uh, that just sums up this first half for Bristol. Bristol not playing its best basketball here in the first half but somehow only find themselves down by 13. I think that's almost a semi-win for Bristol. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Still down by 13. Definitely Coach Delalu and the Bayhawks need to regroup, and uh, we'll see what we can do in the second half. So with the score 50 to 37, Bulldogs on top. We'll take a break, and we'll have second half action in just a moment. All right, it's halftime, 50 to 37. The uh, Bunker Hill Community College Bulldogs have the lead over the Bristol Community College Bayhawks. What a first half. I mean, Bristol just couldn't get it done on the offensive end, Keith. I mean, they couldn't buy a bucket from the outside. We said, I said one of my keys to the game was that Bristol needed to make perimeter shots. They're not doing a good job of making perimeter shots. They're getting to the free throw line, but they're just not making their free throws. Yeah, and and unfortunately they've been reliant only on Zach Vega. Vega 18 of the 37 points for the Bayhawks. And you were talking about uh, Rodriguez being their probably most one of the most lethal three-point shooters. He shut out in the first half. So he's gonna hopefully find his uh, his shot in the second half. The Bayhawks, you know, they had they had their ups and downs in terms of playing defense. They were able to contain Bunker Hill in stretches. They're going to need to do a better job of that here in the second half because uh, 13 points is quite a bit to overcome uh, without, you know, making a lot more of their shots. I thought defensively they got more aggressive towards the end of that first half. I thought, I thought Bunker Hill, I thought Bunker Hill was doing pretty much what they wanted for the first part of that first half. But Bristol kind of figured it out. They kind of started stymieing them a little bit. Started making, you know, started making some defensive plays, creating turnovers and um, get some easy buckets going back the other way. Yeah, we talked about how Vega was the leading scorer for the Bayhawks. The reason why the Bulldogs are doing so well in this first half was they have spread out their scoring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten players on the board for Bunker Hill, where the Bayhawks, my count, only have four players who have scored in this game. So. That's a big difference, and the Bayhawks will get the ball to start the second half. Well, we talked about it. The Bayhawks without their leading shot blocker, one of their top leading scorers, one of the top leading scorers in Region 21. They're all, they're all world, all stalwart, six foot seven center from Lake Charles, Louisiana. Josh Winbush not in the lineup, but Bristol gonna need to do it without him. There's no question about it. That's a jump ball, so it's gonna go to the Bulldogs. Bulldogs with the basketball. These two teams met in December. Met in December. Bunker Hill won on their home court, and they just met just just last month, a couple weeks ago in February. Bristol win on its home court, and here we are. Second half action. Going to the basket. Nice block there by Freeman. Allen 
with the putback, puts it up and in. Oh, nice Unfortunate play. Unfortunate for Bristol. Yeah, nice block there, but unfortunately, Allen got the rebound. And Bristol not able to get the rebound after that great block. Freeman pulls up, jumper no good. Coakley in the open court. Coakley going all the way to the rack. Another offensive rebound by Bunker Hill. But Tom Sineskar can't connect. Here's McCarthy. McCarthy floats it up off the glass and in. And maybe he could get going. Yeah, six points for McCarthy in the ball game. Step your game up, young fellow. 52-39. A lot of time left to play. We're just getting going. Belitti has to pick up his dribble. 13 Bay on the shot clock. Bayhawks have only had one lead in this game. That was at 5-4 to four early on. It's been all Bunker Hill ever since. And all Bulldogs. Here's Coakley. Coakley looking to spin in the lane. He loves that spin. Puts it up. up. Ooh, they're going to call it on McCarthy? Yeah, and I think that may be his third. He's, he's not happy about it. I think the referees are going to call a, uh, a quick timeout so people can get uh, their heads together. But and as I said, I think that's McCarthy's third. Well, but Coach, I'm not sure what's happened over there. Coach Jones of Bunker Hill grabbing Jamari Coakley and uh, yanking him by the collar. And I think, unfortunately, Vega, his uh, scratch that he had in the first half that drew blood, looks like he's having trouble again controlling that flow, and uh, he's going to have to maybe sit out again for a little while. That is McCarthy's third foul, first on the team for the Bayhawks here in the second half. 52 to 39. We're going to take a break here. No, we're not going to take a break. <laughs> Yeah, they had called the timeout earlier and then uh, ended up um, getting the players back on the court. All right, so the foul is on Marcus McCarthy. 52-39. Jannar Jones to inbound the basketball. Knocked away by Telly Rodriguez. Bristol hustle, Bristol hustle on defense. Yeah, no doubt. They're, they are definitely staying within tight proximity of the Bulldogs in this man-to-man -man defense. And Bristol does match up man-to-man -man on the inbound. Driving. Jones gets it, gets it, gets it swat away by Vega. Charles comes up with it. Freeman fakes, kicks it. To Charles in the corner, the jumper, no good. Rebounded by Vega. Vega can't get it to go. Bristol with a lot of failed opportunities. Up ahead, knocked away by Rodriguez. Boy, Rodriguez will make an amazing free safety. He's always back there knocking, knocking passes away, getting in the passing lanes. Yeah, another nice hustle play there by, by Rodriguez. Both teams pretty sluggish to start this uh, second half. Yeah, not a lot of scoring. Yeah, I mean, actually, we're, just, we're just underway. Yeah, it's been almost uh, it's been almost two and a half minutes. Uh, each team has only scored two points apiece. Coakley. Back up to Belitti. Belitti loses control of the basketball. And they're going to call a foul. That's going to be on Malik Charles. That is four on Charles, so he's going to have to come out. And Morris is going to come back in. And that's too bad for, that's too bad for Rob Dell Lou and the Bayhawks. Malik Charles brings that tenacity. Gives up a lot of height, but he's got a lot of heart and he's got a lot of hustle. And Charles will come out of the game. Belletti's first free throw was good. Second free throw was no good. Offensive rebound by Allen. Freeman comes away with it. 
Here's McCarthy being covered by Bellitti. Vega going up with the left hand. And Bristol just can't get it done on the offensive end. No, a lot of the sh shots are coming up short. Jones for three. No good. Rebounded by Allen. Loses control of it. Oh, goodness gracious. Dane Allen sticks with it. Puts it up and in. Bristol just playing sloppy basketball. They kick it in the corner. Morris for three. Can't get it to fall. Coming away with it is Vega for two. There you go. First two points in the second half of Vega. He now has 20. Almost half of the Bayhawks points. Allen trying to back in Morris. Puts it up. Finds the angle off the glass. Oh, that's a, that's a tough shot, and Allen did a great job of using the backboard there. Hell of a shot there by Allen. Bunker Hill up 16. Bounce pass by Freeman. They collapse. Vega for three. Gets there it to go. go. Sack Vega. Four three-pointer for Vega. 23 points now on the night. And Zach Vega has single-handedly given Bristol a pulse in this game. They double team. Belletti at the free throw line drains it. And we're going to have a substitution on the court. Craig Thompson's going to come in. He'll come in for number 25, Jonathan Sineskar. 15 point lead, Bristol with the basketball. Definitely the deep bench is making a difference for Bunker Hill. They're just uh, bringing just about everyone on their bench into the game. And, you know, they're up by 15. Here's McCarthy. Foul on the floor there. That's going to be on Laku Howard. Laku Howard, six-foot freshman from Brighton, Mass. And him and Deshaun McLaughlin, they are the shortest guys on the team at six feet. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good problem to have. Rodriguez inbounds. Freeman has it. That's a three-pointer by Rodriguez, and he gets it to go. That's Kelly the, for three. That's the first bucket of the night for Rodriguez. It's a three, and hopefully it could be a, the start of something for him. Don't let him get going. A lot of time left. Bristol within 12. Three-point shot, way off. Rebounded by Freeman. Here comes Marcus McCarthy, the floor general. Gets it to the lane. Try to get it to Morris. Now and McCarthy's arguing that it was off a bulldog, but the referees say it was not. Yeah, a couple Bayhawks players trying to lobby for the call. Referee doesn't see it that way. Here comes Jamari Coakley. 59-47, Bristol within striking distance, but they need to start making some plays. Need to start making some stops. Cross-court pass. And Rodriguez is right there. Bristol playing, making some good rotations. Loose ball. Freeman comes away with it. Bristol doing a lot better job on the boards. Absolutely. They're getting the, the block out. There's Zach Vega for three. Gets it to go. It's Vega time. Zach under, Vega for three. Under 10 for the first time in a long time. Nine-point lead for the Bulldogs. If you coach Rob Del Lue, now you're going to start adding the pressure. Knocked away by Freeman, and he comes away with it. Down by nine. Freeman, back out. Going to play within yourself. Vega thought about it. Vega's going to go baseline. Oh, nice ball. Move it there. Morris for three. Oh, boy. That would have got it to within six. Morris just short. Bayhawks need to remain composed. Going to deny the basketball inside. Jones, a jumper. And they're going to call a foul. They're going to call a loose ball foul. Or a foul away from the basketball. I think it's going to be on Freeman. Man, Keith, we have a lot of time here. Single digits for the first time since how long ago? It's been a long time. Oh, check there. That, that foul is on Bunker Hill. It's on Thompson. That's the second team foul now for the Bulldogs. Up, 
Cross court pass. D Rod for three. Gives it to go. D Rod with the trifecta. Six point ball game. Just like that, it's a six point ball game. The floater, and boy, they needed that. The floater by McLaughlin. McCarthy pushing it back the other way. Coast to coast, laying it in. The M&M show. Marcus McCarthy. Six point lead and a lot of time to go here in Boston. Coakley gets to the hole. Oh. And that's gonna be a foul against the Bulldogs. I think it's over the back. That it, was on Yordanetta. Wow. This game was as Bunker Hill had as much as a 17, 18 point lead in that first half. But Bunker Hill let Bristol stick around, stick around. Imagine if Bristol hit their free throws now. This game might be tied. Oh, yeah, definitely. McCarthy looking to drive, looking to take over this game, and he will. McCarthy gets it to the lane, and they're going to call a technical on McCarthy. That's a BS call. I didn't see what happened. You've got to be kidding me. Was it a... Uh, Dave, did you see what happened there? McCarthy, I just think... McCarthy, I might think, I think he might have said a couple words to a to a Bunker Hill player. And Coakley for the technical foul shot is sinks it. But Bristol's clearly in this basketball game. Well again, they can't lose their composure. No. And second free throw is made by Coakley. And Bunker Hill will get the basketball. Okay, we get a timeout on the court. Bristol getting back into this. Bristol down by six. We'll be right back here on FR Media, your Bayhawks broadcasting network. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college, but with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt. And I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, we're back here at the Bunker Hill Gymnasium, home of the Bunker Hill Community College Bulldogs. If you're just joining us at the half, the Bulldogs control. I mean, the Bulldogs controlled the first half. They had a 13-point lead at the half, 50 to 37. But in the second half, Bristol Community College has crept back into it. Three-pointers by Vega. Dontel Rodriguez has hit a couple three-pointers from the outside. And their defense, their defense, and doing a better job of rebounding, Keith, has really kept Bristol. Has really got Bristol back into this thing. Yeah, in a lot of instances, Bunker Hill has still been there in terms of getting a box out, but it's just that their players haven't been able to corral the ball, and when the ball gets tipped up, it gives the Bayhawks an extra opportunity to try to come up with those rebounds, and they've been successful th thus far. And a tough call right before we went to break, Keith. McCarthy, McCarthy had a lay-in that cut this Bristol lead to within four, and then he got a technical foul for jarring at a Bunker Hill player. Jamari Coakley went down and hit two free throws, two technical free throws. And they're gonna call a travel. Yeah, another little mental mistake by the Bulldogs there. Really, um, Erdinetta really didn't have a need to shuffle his feet, but he did. And they had a call. Well, the Bayhawks just gave it to him and right they back. They gave it right back to him <laughs> back. They travel. It's contagious, Keith. Actually, they're going to call, I think, a lane violation, three second violation. Three second violation on, Bunk on Bristol. Both teams with three team fouls. Oh, a delay of game violation against Bunker Hill. And that's going to be a technical oh, foul. That's good. Now let's see if we can make some. 
You know what? <laughs> Keith, you know, Bristol, Bristol kind of stagnant on the offensive end. They couldn't buy a bucket from the outside, couldn't make free throws. They only scored 37 points in the first half, 20 already in this second half, not even halfway through. Right. Vegas only going to have one shot here as part of this uh, two-time delay of game. Much needed. Vega calmly sinks that. And that's kind of like um, that's kind of like payback for the technical foul that they had. They get one of those points back. 27 points for Zach Vega. All right. Here on FR Media, this NJCAA. Huge matchup. They kick it to the corner. Going to the rack. Oh, the tip in. The tip in by the big man. Jonathan Sineskar. And a block on the other end. What a block there by Sineskar. I'm sorry, Thompson. And, Bel and Bellini going back the other way. Oh, my goodness, another steal. Yeah, Bayhawks are getting a little sloppy right now. They've got to, again, recompose themselves. Belletti for the jump, the free, for the free throw line. If you're Coach Dale Lou, call a timeout. You got to call a timeout here. Back up to an 11 point wow. lead now for you Bunker had, Hill. You had this lead cut to within four. Rodriguez for three. And that's just a silly shot. Yeah, not very smart there. You don't need that shot. You don't need that shot. That's a, that's a hero ball shot. 69 to 58. You're just giving them the ball right back. The big man catching it at the top of the top of the key there. Can't connect. Here's McCarthy. Raymond try to kick it back out to McCarthy and it's stolen away by Bellitti. Quick hands there by the sophomore. Bulldog just content to slow it down a bit, set up for a good shot. Exactly. They can afford to do that. They have an 11-point lead. Coakley, short jumper in the corner. It's good. Bunker Hill just making smarter decisions on the offensive end, smarter shots. Oh, nice pass there by Rodriguez. To back to McCarthy. That stopped an 8-0 run by the Bulldogs. Man, that 8-0 that run seems like a whirlwind. We're approaching the 10-minute mark. Coakley, jump stop, kicks it back out. Bellini for three, coming off. That's going to be a foul on the floor. I think it's going to be against Freeman. No, that's on Vega. <laughs> Only a second. Four on the team, so, you know, both teams are still doing well in terms of being in any type of foul trouble. Driving to the basket, putting it up. Loose ball, and it's going to be going Bristol way. Yeah, that's going to be over the top on, on Allen. That's Allen's third. CCRI advanced earlier. They'll be in tomorrow's championship game. They'll play the winner of these two teams. Bristol Community College and Bunker Hill. Coming up on 10 minutes to play. Freeman back out to Rodriguez. Rodriguez from deep. Can't get it to fall. And it's going back the other way. It's a good hustle play there by Rodriguez after the miss. Yeah, Coakley thought that Rodriguez had knocked it out of bounds, but actually went mm -hmm. off Coakley's hands. Well, he knocked it off of him. Three-pointer, McCarthy can't get it to fall. The three-point shots just won't fall. Bristol trying to get it back. They're trying to get it back in like one swoop. Take the ball to the basket. Yeah, they need to be a little more patient. There's plenty of time here. Coakley for two more. Freeman for three. Drains it. That was a big shot hit by Freeman. Boy, do they need that. His first three-pointer of the night, and it's a back to a 10-point game. I feel like Bristol, they're just, they're just rushing, they're just rushing possessions. They can feel the clock ticking. You don't need, you get a lot of time left. 
Bunker's just playing slow and steady. The much more patient team. They get it inside. Thompson, and he'll travel. I notice both teams just, just playing. I mean, not calling a lot of timeouts. And it's just as I say that, we have a timeout on the court. We're going to take a timeout here. 73 to 63, 9 one here to play in this NJCAA semifinal. We'll be right back here on FR. Honor, courage, sacrifice, pride, our city. Fall River has traditionally been in the forefront of honoring our nation's soldiers, sailors, Marines, and airmen. Vietnam veterans took the initiative to secure rights to an 80% size replica of the Healing Wall for Veterans Bicentennial Park. The names of over 58,000 fallen heroes will be engraved on the 360 foot long replica wall. 100% of the money raised benefits the building of our Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall in Fall River. Help build our wall, which is scheduled to open in 2020. The meaning, the spirit, and the value of the wall is everyone's. Be part of this exceptional once in a lifetime project. To make a donation, please visit VietnamMemorialWall.org or connect with us at Facebook.com. All right, welcome back, everybody, to Bunker Hill Community College. The Bunker Hill Community College, the number three seed in this Region 21 tournament against the number two seed, Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Bunker Hill has the lead, 73 to 63. David Cardoza and Keith Thibault on the call here in Boston, Mass. Yeah, the Bayhawks again have to continue to be to be patient. Uh, they they you know they came down, they cut the lead to five, and they felt because they had the momentum, Dave. They felt that they needed to rush some shots, and that was not and, very and good. All, and then, and and then Bunker Hill turned that around and went on an 8-0 run to put us back up now by 10. There's one thing to have a sense of urgency. There's another thing to have a sense of urgency and be patient. Cross court pass. Ooh. Made it there. Rodriguez, fall away jumper. Can't get it to go. Man. Possessions are going to be at a minimum here. Under nine to play. Bristol still in this thing. But boy, they need to make some stops and they need to start making some baskets. Bunker Hill just so patient with their offense, with their half court set. Here's Coakley. Coakley. He does a great job of manufacturing his way to the hoop. Oh, nice pass there. Vega going for the slam, going for the highlight reel. And he's going to get fouled, and he'll go to the line for two. Nice, nice, nice bounce pass. Great intention there by Vega. He had the bigger man on him, but he didn't care. He was going to go right to the hoop and got fouled. I love the bounce pass there in the open court in transition by McCarthy, looking like Magic Johnson. And Vega. Baker hits the first free throw. Cuts it back to within nine. And there's a lot of time left. You get a couple, you get a couple steals. Hit your free throws. 29 points now for Vega. 29 points. Single-handedly. Jumper in the corner. And it's good. Jannard Jones for two. Charles comes to sets a pick. Looking for a little pick and roll action. Won't happen. McCarthy loses it, gets it back. Rodriguez for three. No good. Rebounded by Coakley. Coakley has the ball with a 10 point lead for Bunker Hill. Yeah, Coach, Coach Jones now continuing to tell his team when they get the ball, slow it down. That's, no need to rush. That's an old veteran right there. You play to win the game. It's about quality possessions. The floater. The tip. No good. Vega wrestling with it with Allen. And it's going to be possession arrow in favor of the Bayhawks. Yep, good job there. The tie up. Uh, Allen, I believe. Bunker Hill had two or three tries at that one. 
They sure did. Okay. McCarthy. He'll swing it. Get the ball to Vega. Get him going to the basket. He's their only offense right now. Kick ball, going to call it on Bunker Hill. If I'm Bristol in their offense, get the ball to Zach Vega. 29 points here today. One of the leading scorers in Region 21. Get him the basketball. Get him going to the basket. Freeman stops and pops. No good. Boy, you see shots like that, you just think Winbush would be down there grabbing offensive rebounds. I guess the shot clock did not start, so they're going to bring the shot clock down, I believe, is what they were saying. I just feel like time is slipping away. It's a 10-point lead, and that's definitely not insurmountable, as we know. But, man, the, the Bayhawks just don't convey any kind of confidence when they're in their offensive sets. And we're not seeing the fast break. We're not seeing the fast break basketball. We're not seeing the transition basketball that we're that we usually see. Yeah, that we saw in the first half. A lot more in the first half. Teams have sort of settled in a little bit here in the second. Under seven to play. Coakley finds Thompson at the free throw line. Drives to the hole. Strong. I'm sorry, Jonathan Sineskar. Just like that. Bulldogs back up by 12. Nice pass there by McCarthy. That's why he's a leading assist leader in Region 21. Nice skip pass. I mean, nice bounce pass by McCarthy to Morris underneath. Still a 10 point game. You got to get stops. You need stops if you're Bristol. Bolitti going to come off, and that's a foul. Yeah, that was an easy one over the back. Yeah, Allen. that was. Allen didn't even look like he jumped. He just put his arms over, but obviously made the contact there. That's his fourth, so they've got to watch out. He's their big man underneath there, so he's only got he's got four fouls, so they've got to be careful. Oh, knocked away by Bolitti. And he comes away with it. Bolitti gets it back. Oh, was well, knocked up by Vega. And Coakley regains it. Man. And now again, Coach Jones telling them, slow it down a bit. That's what you're doing, just milking that clock, milking the shot clock. Coakley, he does a good job of just managing the game. Inside Sineskar, using his force. Allen with the offensive rebound. Yep. And the Bayhawks just don't have an answer. Definitely height advantage there was the difference. 79 to 67, 12 point lead. We're, let's keep it here. Let's keep it here. Five, <laughs> five minutes and 31 seconds left. And despite Bristol getting beat on the boards, I don't, I don't feel like that's been the difference. I think the difference is offensively, they kind of just been inept at times. Yeah, I mean, they're still rushing at times. Um, you know, you're getting closer to the point of the game now, down by 12. Yeah, you got to have a little more urgency, but still with 531, you make stops on the de defensive side. You've got opportunities on the offensive side. There's no need to rush yet. It's not like you've got to start putting up threes. And again, Dave, uh, you know, it, the, the Bayhawks I haven't been in this situation being down by a lot too often this year. So sometimes you feel like you're down by a lot. You need to try to make it up quick. And that's rarely, rarely something that works. That's for sure. I mean, I don't even know what to say. It's 79 67. I just feel like that one sequence in the game when Bunker Hill went on that 8 0 run and then and then and then Bristol started just teeing up threes yep. from, from deep. These hero ball threes that were nowhere near going in. Yeah. There were no business taking those shots and they kind of played themselves out of this thing. Yeah. Five minutes and 31 seconds left. The winner of this game will play in the championship game tomorrow against CCRI. CCRI winning a fairly a thrilling game earlier on today by a score of 74-71 over Gateway. So they will await the winner of this game between the Bayhawks and the Bulldogs. And CCRI with the nation's longest winning streak. 18-game win streak for CCRI. Now 
Okay, Bunker Hill knocks it out of bounds. Key possession here for Bristol. They're going to need to get some, some kind of points. Vega out to Freeman. Charles. Vega loses out of bounds. Uh, had the cut there, but the bounce pass was just a little too low for Vega to handle. And it's a kickball. It's going to be back with the, the Bayhawks. With 20 seconds on the shot clock. Got to get the ball in the hands of your best player right now, and that's Zach Vega. And he's getting double teamed in the corner right now. Skip pass. Telly Rodriguez for three, short. Just hasn't been his night. Nope, six points for Rodriguez, two three-pointers here in the second half. And it's unfortunate, Craig, because we've seen, I've seen Telly Rodriguez hit four or five three-pointers in a row. Call him the little microwave. Coakley, elbow jumper. Can't get it to fall. And possession will be Bristol. Off, it's going to be off Bunker Hill. Yeah, that was off Thompson. Again, boy, you can see the height advantage when you've got Malik Charles underneath. And right now, you know, going up against someone like Thompson, yeah. uh, definite advantage for the Bulldogs. And loose ball. Charles with it. Charles puts it up. Oh, can't get it to go. Sticks with it. Vega for three. Can't get it to go. And it's going to be off Rodriguez. Man. Now you gotta if you're if you're the Bayhawks, you gotta start pressing a little bit now. 435 to go, down by 12. Gotta start tightening up the defense and making your shots on offense. They've been able to do the former, but the latter they've had some trouble. That's for sure. Going Sanescar. Can't get it to fall. Loose ball. Coakley in the paint. Another offensive rebound. Well, there's a lot of banging going on underneath, and they now call the foul on the Bayhawks. That's going to be on Vega. Just unfortunate. Three fouls on Vega. Oh, almost stolen by Charles. And they're going to call an offensive foul. That's on Thompson. I feel like it's been 79 to 67 for like three minutes. That is the seventh foul for the Bulldogs. So for the remaining four minutes and 14 seconds, every foul the Bulldogs commit will put the Bayhawks on the line for at least one and one. And let's see what they can do in this situation. Bayhawks need to get something going. Down 12, Charles, short jumper. No good. Boy, there's a Man, lid on that they basket. Can, they cannot make a basket. Rodriguez. Rodriguez kicks it to the corner to Vega. My goodness. I just feel like they've had so many opportunities. That's a jump ball. It's going to go to Bunker Hill. They cannot make a shot. Not like they haven't had the looks. Well, the Bayhawks are going to press now a little bit. Here's Jamari Coakley being got up by Freeman. All right, they're going to call a foul on Telly Rodriguez. That was a little interesting. The referee blew the whistle and then turned around to look at Coach Jones as if the coach was jawing at him a little bit. And then Coach Jones just Stopped his talking, and the referee called the foul. McCarthy also talking to the referees. He's got to be a little careful. He's already had yeah, uh, you know, some issues tonight. You start getting to the end of the game like this, you're down. Careers. That, Bayhawks now have 16 fouls. And Tilly Rodriguez talking to the crowd over here. Get in the game, get in the game. That's gonna be another foul on the Bayhawks. Just gonna be. That's Freeman. That's four on Freeman. Referee's looking at, keep keeping his eye on Rodriguez. Rodriguez is talking to the crowd. Tilly Rodriguez, my goodness. <laughs> Stuff getting a little out of hand here. 
79 to 67. Thompson misses the first free throw. I don't know if Rodriguez is, is he's talking to, to to students to our right. I don't know if they're Bristol students well, trying to get them roused up or they're Bunker Hill The thing Hill is, it's been, a poor shooting for, it's been a poor shooting night for Tilly. I think there's just a lot of frustration right now. You miss one of your key players. Coakley uh, with, with the, the re rebound. Oh, that, that was big. That was big for Bunker Hill, getting the rebound after two missed free throws. And that could be the final nail in the coffin. McCarthy. McCarthy loses the basketball. That follows on Bolitti, and the Bayhawks will go to the free throw line. I feel like it's going to be a long ride home. <laughs> now 14 points down, 322 left. You got to start hoping you're going to hit some threes. You can stop jarring at the crowd and stop focusing on playing basketball. That's why you're down 14. Yeah, missing the front end there didn't help. Going to the basket. And that's going to be another foul on the Bayhawks. If I'm Coach Del Lue, I'd get, I'd get Telly Rodriguez out of the game. I mean, he's been jarring and swearing at the crowd yep. for that, a long time now. Very he needs to come out of the game. Very important. Zach Vega with that foul. That is his fourth. Zach Vega with his fourth foul. Bristol down 14 with three minutes and 13 seconds left to play. We'll be right back here on FR Media. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college, but with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt, and I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, we're back here in Boston, Massachusetts. David Cardoza here with Keith Tibault and, of course, the phenomenal Lucy Cabral doing her thing, doing Lucy Cabral things. You know, 3.13 left in the we game. We love Lucy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 3.13 left to go in the game, David. Again, there's got to be a little more urgency on the part of the Bayhawks. 14 points. You've got to pretty much stop Bunker Hill uh, when they come down, and you've got to pretty much score just about every time you come back. And they're going to have to press Bunker Hill after they score, even if they don't score when they there's, get there's the not enough. There's not enough time. Bunker Hill has done a great job of managing the clock. I think, I think Coach... Coach Jones for Bunker Hill has done a great job of uh, managing this game. And Sineskar can widen the lead. It's 14 right now. Can widen it with some free throws here. I just like their. I just like Bunker Hill's approach. I like their approach offensively. They're very patient, and they just take take good shots. Bristol not taking good shots. Seven points now for Sineskar. And I just feel like, um, you know, Bristol has taken a lot of contested shots, a lot of contested threes. That's not going to get it done. Vega. Vega getting doubled. And he was tripped. And he's got a, I think he's got a cramp. No, came up limping a little bit, but... Josh Winbush definitely missed. They definitely miss his defensive presence. I mean, that presence underneath, underneath the basket is just looming. Yeah. You have to, he has to be accounted for. Not only does he block shots, he alters a lot of shots. Another missed free throw for the Bayhawks. And Vega's definitely limping, heading back down the court. I don't know if it's a, it's a cramp or he does have his right calf wrapped. Don't know if he's had some issues with that throughout the year. Under three minutes to play, here's Coakley. Coakley. Going to the basket. Uh oh, if that's, that's on Vega, no, that's going to be on Freeman. So Bayhawks down by 14. Uh, check that 15, and Coakley on the line. 
shoot one and one. You know, Dave, coming into this game, um, we've got, you know, three of the four teams in this tournament ranked in the top ten in the country. And the reason why the Bayhawks are actually the number two seed, they actually tied for the region lead. They lost a coin flip to CCRI. And that's why they're number two and having to play the number three seeded Bulldogs in this game. And that's tough. And Freeman goes to the basket. And yeah, nice oh, play by Freeman there. And the turn around. Oh, that's the kind of night that it's been. Boy, they need to hit a three here. They'll kick it back out. McCarthy goes underneath, puts it back up and in. And that's what they needed, a couple quick scores. Now you need to stop. Yeah, that's a, that's a quick four. It's down to 11. You need to stop here. You need to stop here if you're Bristol. Coakley going all the way to the basket. Loose ball. Got to grab it. Oh, they're going to call a foul. I thought that could have been a travel or a tie ball there. Yeah. In the end, in the end, Bunker Hill just too big. How many second and third opportunities has Bunker Hill gotten? Because they kept, they kept the ball alive. That's on McCarthy, and he's fouled out. And that's unfortunate. Marcus McCarthy's career as he walks off the court here. So now the uh, Bayhawks have 10 fouls. So they're in the, the uh, Bulldogs are in the yeah, double bonus. Yeah, that's McCarthy's bonus. fifth foul, so he is fouled out. Actually, both teams will be in the double bonus now the rest of the way, David. So there'll be two free throws throughout the rest of this game as so Morris will come back in to uh, replace McCarthy. So it'll be a free throw battle. And Marcus McCarthy has had an amazing career as a Bristol Community College Bayhawk. He was the NJCAA Player of the Week for Division Three just a couple weeks ago. He's had the most triple doubles of anybody in Bayhawks history. The leading scorer this year on this Bayhawks team. Back up to a 12 point lead now for the Bulldogs. And both free throws made, and Bunker Hill has made, they've done a good job shooting free throws, making free throws. And Bunker Hill has stymied, and Rodriguez just can't buy a bucket from outside. Nope. And he's trying to do everything he can to try to get himself going. It just doesn't happen. Bunker Hill stymieing what is the second highest offense in the country. Bristol... Don't Bristol they average at 96 and a half points a they, game. They're averaging, I thought, 95 points a game. Yeah, so they're going to be well under that tonight. Vega for three, coming off. Yeah, 25 points underneath their average. And it looks like the Bayhawks are going to just play defense back for the last 125. No rush here for the slam home. The Bulldogs. Dane Allen puts an exclamation point on this one. And Bunker Hill. They can see the writing on the wall now. It's pretty much academic. Rodriguez for three. Off he the glass, it in. and it figures. And <laughs> figures he'd make that one now. Might be a little bit too late for, for Bristol. 12-point lead. Freeman knocked that one out of bounds. Yeah, 54.3 seconds left to go. Yeah, 12-point lead. Barring a miracle. It's going to be Bunker Hill and CCRI tomorrow. And this place will be rocking for the championship. Going to the basket is Taylor. And that's it. Bristol just going to be playing out the string here. And what has been another great season for Bristol where they've, their, their ranking has been up to four. Three-pointer by Rodriguez from Steph Curry land. That was like a five-pointer. That would have been a five. It should have been worth And the, the Bunker Hill crowd here in Boston chanting, it's all over. And the three-pointer. Jernard Jones for three. And this one has turned into a blowout. Rodriguez putting up too many. Yeah, and that's going to be it. Ill-advised shots. 
And that's going to do it. The home team, Bunker Hill, will be hosted tomorrow's championship game. They'll be the victors over the Bristol Community College Bayhawks, 91 to 74. And that is all she wrote here in Boston. Not a very good way to end the season if you're the Bayhawks. Uh, coming in, of course, 26 and three, losing the Bunker Hill twice here. Um, you know, we talked about it, Dave. They were up against it without uh, having their 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 big man down 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 low here. Uh, but they they hung in. You know, they had a big deficit in the first half, cut it to five in the second. They were right there. But then the depth and the height of Bunker Hill was just too much in the end. I just thought that sequence when they did when they did cut it to four or five, they had that technical foul, which was huge. Yeah. I thought that was huge. The technical foul that McCarthy had after he just cut it to four, started jarring with a Bunker Hill player, got the technical foul, and that just kind of turned the tide a little bit. So unfortunately for the Bayhawks, their season comes to an end. Another great season where, Bunk where Bristol Community College got up to uh, as high as the number four team in the country. Another great season for Coach Rob Del Lou, but it ends in disappointment here again in the regionals. And it's been a great year of, of, bro of uh, broadcasting Bayhawks basketball, as it always is here on FR Media. We want to thank everybody for watching um, on our live stream on the Bristol Community College Athletics page. We want to thank all of our fans and everybody watching on FR Media on our cable network on Channel 95 on your dial. And um, for the final time here in the 2018-2019 season, I'm David Cardoza here as we sign off here from Bunker Hill Community College. Unfortunately, the Bayhawks couldn't get it done, but we uh, admire their effort, and it's been a great season uh, broadcasting Bayhawks basketball as it always is. For, for David Cardoza, Keith Tibault, and Lucy Cabral, the final score here from Boston, Massachusetts, Bunker Hill 91, your Bristol Community College Bayhawks 74. We'll see you again next season for more Bayhawks basketball. Go Bayhawks!